Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a special guest. Her name is Mojirade Nos MJ. Hi. So the reason she's on this channel is because we went on this vacation together. It's very mm -hmm. important we share our experience, yeah? Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna get into it without wasting much of your time. We're gonna get into what we have for you today, yeah? Don't go anywhere. So she's my guest, she's gonna take over everything that I'm going to explain and I'm just going to be here to <laughs> to give you guys my beauty. <laughs> so um, all through this vlog, Damala is going to be giving me a lot of contributions because she's quite knowledgeable about traveling. This is my own first traveling and you know, <laughs> as you can see, she's like my mentor on this journey of traveling. <laughs> So guys, the first important thing that you need to have on your to-do list, yeah, on your list, is to get an e-visa. So if you're an EU resident or a British um, British citizen, right, you need to still apply for e-visa via um, the Turkey website, okay, which I'm going to pop in the um, description so you can just click the link and go ahead and um, book your visa. The visa application is quite direct, I'll say. I mean, it's quite easy for them to make the application and it's going to cost you just about, uh, I think it was 55, 55 was it 55 50 pounds or 55 dollars that oh, we paid? $50. Was it 50 dollars? I think it's around that price, 50, 50 to 55 dollars, I'm not so, so sure. Yeah, so it's going to cost you around that price and it's quite easy. They will ask you information about you Basically, your personal details and all of that, your passport details. You just have to make sure that everything is accurate as it is on your international passport when you're applying for this e-visa. Okay? And what else about the visa do you want to contribute, Damola? So, for the visa, Mojirade just explained about the e-visa. And there's an order visa if you're not a UK resident. That's if you're in Nigeria and you want mm -hmm. to go to Turkey, you need to apply in the consulate. Yeah? So, when you go to Turkish embassy, see you will see everything it requires for you to apply i believe you have to have a return ticket and you have to have an hotel um reservation for you to be able to apply for that visa but because mm -hmm. we live in the uk and we have the uk residency it's just the e-visa we need and that is it very straightforward you just need to pay mm -hmm. once you pay that is it okay so there are some terms and conditions that applies as Bamela has said you know when you want to book your old trip you need to understand that you're going to need certain things which we're still going to get to okay and one of them is just what you just mentioned which is the e-visa okay and with the e-visa there are there are times and terms and conditions that apply to this and one of it is that you need to be an eu resident yeah or a british citizen or eu what else what residency is it i think um there's some residents you can have but mm -hmm. when you go to the website if you're nigerian mm -hmm. yeah, yeah or ghanaian yeah in the uk the most important part is that you are a resident okay so you need to be a resident okay and then um the other thing is that you need to book a return flight with turkish airline or pegasus so i'm um, aware <laughs> is it pegasus 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 <laughs> This is the part where uh, our experience will come in. Oh my god, I'm alive. Look! Hey. We're not allowed to fly. We, like, we got to the airport. I was the first person to get to the airport. Because I'm always very early. Obviously, I'm I had to check in. <laughs> I'm not be late to our wedding. <laughs> I have to, I mean, I like to like get to somewhere really quick. I like, I'd rather be too early than to start running and be late. Like I get really anxious and I panic yeah, when I, I'm late. Okay. I, so I always try to be really on time. So I got to the airport guys. And myself and Damola actually found this trip on EasyJet, which is uh, a, an holiday website. There are all the, all, the, all the websites that you can get good deals from. So we found this amazing um, deal. deal from EasyJet. And we're like, oh, nice. Let's jump on it. Amazing. Not exactly cheap, but you know, it was I mean, it was all exclusive. And it was all exclusive, including, including the flight, yeah. including feeding, um, transfer. everything transferred to the uh, airport, yeah. to the hotel. Everything was there, so it just caused the whole stress for us, and we were really happy and excited about it. Okay, but we didn't know this side. So I was able to check in online because mm -hmm. I already use I just edited easy jet on normal day, so it was easy. They have my information. Mm -hmm. I was able to check in. 
Mujiradi was not able to check in online, so they Village asked her, people. They had her to get to the airport on time, mm -hmm. and she got to the airport on time, like she has explained. <laughs> Miss Ellie, comma. <laughs> She got to the airport on time and they told her that we can't fly with EasyJet hmm. because the clause in the visa we have for is mm -hmm. that we must have a return ticket with Turkish airline or Pegasus which we didn't knew <laughs> See, we did it. this is the highlight of this video mm -hmm. don't make that same mistake that we did I got to where I was supposed to check in really in time even though there was a lot of crowd So I went to meet this lady, she's black and she's like Oh, oh, lady, just go to the first one, two, one, two of three um, counter and check in I said, alright So I was going, I feel like a bad fine girl now I was going like, bum, 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 bum. I got there and I couldn't even find the counter she was talking about So I saw another lady, she was heading to the toilet But you know, I was panicked I said, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry to disturb you But I need to check in online I was unable to check in uh, I, I need to check in because I was unable to check in online but she said, oh, I'm gonna help you. You know, I was going to the toilet. I was trying to do my zip. She was actually trying to do my zip in the toilet. She said, boy, I'm gonna help you. Come around, come around, come around. Have you seen anyone early, um, before? I said, I saw someone, but she was not really helpful. She said, oh, it's all right, it's all right. I'm gonna do it for you. Come quickly. So she took my passport. She took my um, my documents and she said, and then she went to the computer, blah, 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 blah. And she said, I'm sorry, darling. I don't think something is going wrong, but let me find out from my colleague first before I um, relate the information to you. So she went to meet another lady. And then this lady said, I'm sorry, you have, can I see your visa? She said, she looked at the visa again. And then she said, I'm sorry, you won't be able to fly with EasyJet. <laughs> Good. Like, my heart, everything sunk. Like, I was like, come again. I'm sorry, girl, you won't be able to fly. I'm so sorry about this inconvenience. But with your e-visa, it says here that you only, you have to, have a return ticket with Turkish hairline or Pegasus. I said, where did you see that? And then she showed me. I said, does this not mean that all, 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 like you have to have, I'm, I mean, as, as long as you have ticket, one, yeah. as, as long as you have one, everything, every other thing should be fine. She said, no. I said, I have my biometric residence permit. I she said, but with your kind of passport and again, this kind of visa, you can only travel with Turkish hairline or Pegasus. I've never heard Pegasus in my life. I'm like, are you sure that's an hairline? <laughs> yeah, I've never heard Pegasus. You know, and she, and, I looked them up. And then she said, okay, what you have to do, girl, is it's okay, don't panic. Just go upstairs and check Turkish hairline to see if you can still book a flight. Hmm. At that point, I'm like, no way. Like, no way. I said, hold on. You really mean I cannot fly? She said, I'm sorry, girl, you cannot fly. I said, I have everything. She said, but this, they will not allow you. Even if we allow you to fly on a jet, they will stop you at the border. Yeah. That you, They won't let you in. And it's, it's better you even go home from it and get to Turkey and not be allowed to go in. You know? And I said, oh my goodness. She said, I said, where is Turkish Airlines? She said, you need to go to South Terminal, go to Level. And you know the way that we airport is so big. Like, yeah. the whole environment, the whole airport is intimidating. Yeah. Like everywhere, I, I like mean, you need to take a shuttle to another time in Like, like it was crazy. So I made the first shuttle, and at that point, I already called you. But you know what? I'm like, I mean, let me say this: you were, you really, you you were really there. You were an angel. <laughs> Honestly, the reason why I did not really panic was because I was doing this with you. Trust me, I didn't have to think about everything by myself. I knew that you had someone experience in traveling, so I was a little bit calm because of you, honestly. Fine. And then I went, Damola, I'm sorry, where are you? I, I just wanted Damola to be there because I knew if she was there, something will, something will be done. And then Damola went, How can they tell you that? That's not possible because it is you. You are being calm with them. And by that time, Damala, wonderful Damala, she already checked online. She said, babe, she was already sending me screenshots of trips that we could go for. And guys, we were just really blessed. God just really said we're going to take this trip. Because how come we found really affordable flights? I don't, I don't want to say cheap, because it might not be cheap to so, no, it's not. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. I would say stopping. affordable. Yeah. Yeah. How come? And we're it's still true. able to fly. But the only thing is that instead of flying around 1500 our flight was like 1800 which he actually, actually paid me because, because she was late <laughs> <laughs> that mother will be late 
to our wedding. Caught me anyway. So, Wait and see. So you for, see, for, for me, I've been I've been rejected to fly before, which I have a video on my channel explaining that I booked a flight with KLM and I was going to Nigeria and I got to get the airport. Your drink. Thank you. I got to the airport and they said I won't. I can't be. I can't be allowed to fly because I don't have a transit visa. And I knew I did all the drama at the airport. The police came. Everybody was, you know, they were there for me. <laughs> <laughs> all they did was to just oh. tell me sorry sorry and they were helping me check another flight i was able to get a very expensive flight at that time but i mm -hmm. booked and i went to nigeria so i knew that no matter how much we fight we can just fight we will still have to book another mm -hmm. flight because that's what the policy says so what i just did was to just look for another flight and luckily we got a very good and day. damola was just on the phone pick this have you are you yeah. here press this oh <laughs> ah, god i'm such an illiterate <laughs> oh my god and i think it's because my flight to uk was my very first airplane flight to the yeah, out of the country yeah. right and my hospital did all i mean my agency rather they did all of that all i needed to do was be present at the airport so i didn't have to go through booking doing all these things so it was quite strange to me but having you was just it just really made my life easier so we booked the trip she met me at uh, the Turkish airline desk we checked in you know and the rest is history as you know but guys do not make that mistake no. okay which if you are a Nigerian like us okay no, you have a visa oh you, you have a, 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 a EU visa UK visa okay you have your biometric residency permit you still need e visa but if you are using the e visa with an holiday trip, okay, you have you cannot fly without holiday. Like T U High, Jet to holiday, whatever holiday it is, you cannot fly with them. You have to fly with Turkish Airlines or Pegasus. Pegasus. But if you want to fly with these holidays, then you have to apply for the real visa at the Turkish Embassy, yeah. okay, yeah. and have their real visa stamped on your passport yeah, yeah. otherwise you will not be allowed to fly Person okay Turkish airline. yeah you will not be allowed P to fly P Pegasus is, I don't know. and the earlier you book the, the, the better the for you yeah. so that's it about the e-visa and check to check the description for the um website for the link for the link to apply for your visa and then the biometric residency permit this one when we were going, Namala, they didn't ask us. They did. It's funny enough, they didn't, <laughs> ask, they didn't ask for anything because they said we must get some list, which we were still going to say. When we entered Turkey, they didn't even ask for any of this. They didn't ask when we were. But when we were, coming, when we were coming back, back to the UK, we got back to that one. Ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah security or wrong? <laughs> Check. I said you are criminals. Oh my god, it was we even saw gone. A woman was carrying gone at the airport. Me, <laughs> Nigerian vibes. Here. I said, I'm like, are we in Nigeria? And there was supposed to be at the airport. Ah, I don't so, know. Please don't anyway, forget. Anyway, don't your... forget about metric residency. Yeah. Do not, Do not forget. forget it. <laughs> Do not forget it. Okay, they were really particular about it when we're coming back from Turkey. And then you have to purchase a travel insurance. Which they didn't really ask. When they did not to. ask. But they will have to. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe they check with summer, summer. You know, we already, we already said we built travel insurance, yeah. but it's good for you because anything can happen. They can cancel your flight, they can cancel your trip, they can cancel the whole holiday. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can claim all of this back is if you have a travel insurance. And you could get sick, you might not, you might be, you, yeah, you might not be able to travel sickness. back. You know, yeah, anything can sickness. happen on your trip. Anything yeah. can happen on your trip. So you have to prepare yourself for the emergency. Mm -hmm. So travel insurance is highly recommended. I Highly advisable that you get one, and they're not really expensive. The website where I booked for myself and my friend was uh, moneymarket.com, I think. I think it was moneymarket.com no, or money, yeah, or moneymarket.com. You will, they will give you a quote of different insurance, and you will pick the one that works for you. I think the one we went for was cover for you. There are different insurance in the sense breed, different ones, yeah. right? And the one that we pick was around twelve pound forty for our trip. You just need to have your trip already because they'll ask you your the day you're gonna enter into Turkey or wherever you're going, and then the day you'll be coming back. So you need to give them that date, which means that you should have booked your trip 
with your holiday or whatever you should have booked mm -hmm. it like you have booked that holiday you you you, you know that you've confirmed that date mm -hmm. before you book same applies with your visa you have to have that confirmed date because your visa will be valid from the point you're entering the date you're entering the turkey and then the date you're leaving okay you cannot okay i think you can extend beyond that date but you have to yeah. put the date you'll be entering i think for about 180 days or 150 days for the mm -hmm. residence the visa i think is um three months okay it's, it's valid for three months okay is it three months or six months so. but it's just one entry it's, it's just one entry once you come so out you can it. leave you can leave you Whenever. can leave in turkey for like three mm -hmm. months if you want mm -hmm. but you have to come in the day you said you're coming in but with your insurance you have to come back the day you say you're coming back because oh. insurance and um travel with cash <laughs> now that won't like tell me because now, if she didn't tell me she would said Babe, we don't like 200 pounds. So I said, ah, it's too much now. What are we buying now? <laughs> Until we got there, everything is cash, cash. And they went, and they, ah, uh, they were racist to the dollar. They said they don't want the one that doesn't have coin on it. <laughs> so if, if you live in Scotland, if you live in Scotland like me, mm -hmm. you need to have pounds in England. You can't use the money of Scotland. Mm -hmm. You need to have England pounds. The one that has coin. Coin on it. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. No, it was no, was funny. Um, sorry, the pounds, yeah. Um, we want the one that has queen on it. I can't find the film myself. Now you didn't leave me that queen. We got queen. So, Namala has said this if you're in Namala's shoes, have queen on it. So, if it doesn't have queen yeah. on it, you're on your own. No. But they take mm -hmm. euros and they take their um, Turkish lira, of course. Yeah. They take lira or lira or whatever. Lira, they yeah, and they their take, currency. They take yeah. dollars. But I think they don't prefer dollars because the guy mm -hmm. told us. If you have pounds, we mm -hmm. prefer pounds. Yeah, they dollars. prefer pounds. Yeah, so you kind of and, prefer and, pounds. And, yeah, but mm -hmm. travel with cash. But luckily for Uno Hotel, our card was able to work mm -hmm. for, for some yeah. transactions. For yeah, some, for yeah. like when we went to the spa, guys, don't miss our travel vlog. I did a real vacation vlog. Hey, get out! Hey, hey. Another one on this list for us is that <laughs> travel with Universal Socket. <laughs> In reading things like the mother went, wait, where's the socket? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you know socket that usually come with ketchup, like all those two months. Like, now we should actually show them one of the sockets, so. yeah, the one we had to buy. I think we'll, we'll, we'll show you, we'll have a picture somewhere here mm -hmm. to show we'll you. Show, the socket. Yeah. We'll add a picture to the video, so yeah, you yeah. Socket. We took a picture and just add it to the video, guys. You have to travel with a universal socket, or else you will buy one miserable one like this in that place. Yeah. That is only gonna work for just one kind of mouth. Okay, yeah. The talk socket rather. The socket yeah. is not three months. It's not the it's same. Yeah. And actually, I think this is something that everybody should know. My friend was one of my friends was saying the other time that if you're going to the US also, there's a different kind of I mean there are amp plugs. The yeah. plugs are different, different, the voltage and everything. So I think that's the reason why they prefer certain plugs. Well, really? the best thing is if you know you want to be traveling to different countries, mm -hmm. buy it. Yeah, have a universal socket. Have it. Yeah, have it. Our, our phones were dead for a day mm -hmm. because okay, we, we couldn't charge. Mm -hmm. And we're now, we're now, I did How many percent? <laughs> but the hotel we stayed, I mean, that hotel. Should we I'm give sure. them tea about the hotel? Or should we just wrap this up because it's almost 20 minutes? And it Watch out for our other videos about the trip. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe that MJ will be breaking down how she was able to get the deal. I just sent our links to different websites. She mm -hmm. did all the work. I'm giving her all the credits for doing all the work. Um, That's so, your girl, your travel <laughs> vlogger, your body, favorite nurse vlogger. I don't body, 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 and um, mm -hmm. every other thing, I believe, like our trip was all yeah. exclusive, so we didn't have to pay for anything except we wanted to mm -hmm. like, because we, we did some other activities which we had to pay for. But everything, even the Look spa, forward to them. yeah, the spa you could access the spa, but because we wanted to have the Turkish bath experience, mm -hmm. that was why we paid for that. So just make sure you have money, you have cash in case you want to do other things, really and just emergency, you. yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure you book Turkish or Pegasus. Make sure you get your e-visa. If sure you don't want e-visa, you don't want to book Turkish Airline or Pegasus, you have to get it stamped visa on your passport. Yeah, on your passport. Mm -hmm. And make sure you don't forget <coughs> anything at home. Don't forget. Your and the old trip for us, like, 
a, the whole budget what should they look out i mean what kind of what budget okay, I, 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 I don't know how majority was able to get the deal that she got but i tried to look at this hotel again because i really love this hotel and I, I wanted to go back there i wanted to look for this hotel and it was so expensive mm -hmm. so i think you should always budget at least one thousand pounds yeah. for this holiday mm -hmm. one thousand pounds mm -hmm. and because when we sit down and do all the calculations and everything it's, it's spent, a lot it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Important. so one thousand yeah. pounds it was worth it yeah it was worth it i would do that again and again and again i enjoyed it yeah. like Sure. so that's all we wanted to share with you on this content i hope that you guys found this useful don't forget to follow us on our platform namala is on instagram at okay and i'm on instagram you know your girl right popular famous <laughs> at proud underscore nos mg on instagram proud nos mg on twitter and also you know i'm on tiktok nos mg01 I want to follow on TikTok. Oh. But, but really, I just I just remembered a very important point. Oh, okay. Um, don't forget your sunscreen. You can see I'm drinking water. I'm so dehydrated. Don't forget your sunscreen. Turkey is, is hot. Oh, like Turkey oh, is hot. It's like six degree. That was day it was forty <laughs> degree. My phone will say, please. Uh, temperature is too hot. <laughs> like do do <laughs> all right guys cheers to another one i hope we we share <laughs> more trips and uh, vacations like this with you see you on soon. instagram we always post reels that would be really i mean a good pointer short pointer for you and it, to youtube is just for you to get a broader um idea of the old real short content i make sure that. you go with killing outfits like hey, because, because it's ah, hey, ah, hey, 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 and people were asking me, I'm sure you're in Turkey. We actually went to um, Dalaman, Turkey, Fetiye. and where her hotel was located was in Fethiye. <laughs> Turkey is beautiful. Mm, One thing good. I actually love again before we go about Turkey is that everything, their signposts, everything is written in their language. And their flags, you keep seeing their flags everywhere. <laughs> Those people are so proud of their country. Hi. And I really love, and they were really, the hospitality. They had a really oh warm god. hospitality. Oh my god. No, no, no. Yeah. These people pay attention. You see, we'll see it in our vlogs. Let us feel too much tea. So, we'll see you guys later. Cheers. Subscribe Bye. to our channel and, you know, turn the notification on so you don't miss the real juice. Bye, darling. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Cheers.